Good evening, everyone. Hello around the world. I'm sure everyone's aware of the 7.7 and 7.3 that took place near Jamaica today. I'm going to look through some of the solar models and see if we can find any contributing factors to that energy. Let's start with the now cast. And as you can see, we had a very dense wind pass today, followed by an increase of velocity and wind speeds. There's a very large pocket behind that. It's just now passing Venus. Probably be reaching us sometime tonight into the morning hours of Wednesday. Corona hole at the southern pole of the sun observed here two small sunspots not really producing anything we do have an image of some filaments dancing on the edge of the disk it's always amazing to see those images captured on SOHO and SDO as for our wind speeds, we can see the spike here when that dense wind hit us. And of course the speeds are going to be increasing because the velocity increases behind that dense pocket of winds. Looking at our magnetosphere and magnetopause, we can also see the effects of these winds as they go from high density to high velocity. Again, to watch that dark area on the right side of the magnetosphere change from yellow to a dark orange. The darker the color, the denser the wind. And you can see these IMF lines are kind of scattering all over the place in this back current of Earth. Energy's also been picked up on the resonator. That's not all solar activity, folks. Checking out the planetary alignment and cosmic activity, we have four, possibly five comets with an interplanetary alignment, three which are very close, one in particular is just behind Venus. Iwamoto is making its way almost over Earth, as well as Panstar. going to have a lot of celestial activity in our system over the next few days. Seismic activity is probably going to be increasing and decreasing also, so myself and others will be keeping an eye on the activity. Dutch is back. I hope everybody subscribed to his channel. Stay safe. Have a nice evening. Calm Traveler signing out.